Once in a bustling village, there lived a man named Ryu, who was known for his fiery temper. He would often let his anger get the best of him, causing trouble and discord among the villagers. One day, his actions went too far, and the villagers could no longer tolerate his behavior. They decided to seek the guidance of the wise Zen master, who resided on the outskirts of the village. With a heavy heart, the villagers explained the situation to the Zen master. They hoped that he could help Ryu find a way to overcome his anger and live a more peaceful life. The Zen master listened patiently and agreed to meet Ryu. When Ryu arrived at the Zen master's humble abode, he was fuming with anger. He paced back and forth, muttering to himself about the injustices he believed he had suffered. The Zen master observed him silently and then invited him to sit down. Ryu, the Zen master said softly, I can see that anger has a tight grip on you. It's like holding onto a hot coal with the intention of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. Ryu scoffed. What do you know about my anger? You don't understand what I've been through. The Zen master smiled gently and replied, You're right, Ryu. I may not know the specifics of your experiences, but I do know the nature of anger. It's like a storm that clouds your mind and obscures your inner peace. Ryu's anger flared again at the Zen master's calm demeanor. What should I do then? Just ignore the wrongs done to me? The Zen master shook his head. Acknowledging your feelings is important, Ryu, but holding on to anger and letting it control you only brings suffering. When you hold a grudge, you give your power away to the person or situation that angered you. Ryu looked puzzled. So, what's the solution? The Zen master explained, the solution lies in letting go. When you release the grip of anger, you free yourself from its chains. But this isn't easy. It requires practice and mindfulness. Ryu was skeptical. How can I possibly let go of anger? The Zen master smiled again. Start by breathing. When anger rises, take a deep breath and exhale slowly. Give yourself a moment of stillness. This creates a space between your initial reaction and your actions. In that space, you can choose how to respond. Over the following weeks, Ryu practiced the Zen master's teachings diligently. Whenever anger arose within him, he remembered to pause, breathe, and choose his response. Slowly but surely, he began to notice a change within himself. The storms of anger became less frequent and less intense. One day, Ryu returned to the village and the villagers were astonished by the transformation. He no longer lashed out in anger. Instead, he engaged in thoughtful conversations and peaceful resolutions. The village began to heal, and Ryu found a newfound sense of inner peace and strength. Ryu's journey from a hot-tempered man to a composed and wise individual inspired others in the village to seek the Zen master's teachings as well. And as time went on, the village became a place of harmony and understanding all thanks to the simple yet profound wisdom of the Zen master and Ryu's willingness to change. Remember, my friend, that anger is like a fire that burns not only others but also your own soul. In the calmness of breath and the stillness of mind, you can find the way to overcome anger and let your inner peace radiate like the sun breaking through the clouds.